Hey friends, Miss Cassie here with Soul and Public Library's Digital Storytime. This month we're talking all about pets. <laughs> and this week we are going to talk specifically about lizards and turtles. But first we need to sing our welcome song and we need to get our clapping hands ready. So we're going to wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast and put them on our knees. Okay, here we go. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. What do we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. What do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, twirl around. All right, for our last verse, we're going to be as quiet as we can. And we're going to whisper, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. Our theme song this month is Can You? And we're going to do the actions of the different animals whose pictures you can see on our song sheet. Are you ready? Here we go. Can you hop like a rabbit, wag your tail like a dog? Can you run like a hamster, stretch like a lizard on a log? Can you fly like a bird? Can you swim like a fish? Can you sit back down and be still? like this. Yay! Good job, friends. Our first book today is called Emma's Turtle, and it's written by Eve Bunting and illustrated by Marcia Winborn. Emma's Turtle. Look at the cover of our book. What is on the turtle's shell? Do you know what those are called? Yeah, those are travel stickers. <laughs> Long ago, when you would travel to different countries on your luggage, they would put special stickers so that your luggage wouldn't get lost or separated <laughs> from you as you traveled from country to country. And that's what it looks like Emma's turtle has on his shell. Hmm, I wonder how he got those stickers. Let's find out together. I am Emma's turtle. I live in a pen in her backyard. A pen is like a fenced in space, like a pig pen or, um, or a turtle pen. <laughs> Emma visits me often and brings me snacks. I let her stroke my head. It's very generous of Emma's turtle. Emma sits in her swing and reads to me of the world and places that are far, far away. She shows me pictures of elephants in Africa and kangaroos in Australia. There are tigers in India and panda bears in China. It's all quite amazing. 
Books are great that way, right? We can learn about places or things that we've never experienced or places we've never been. My life is good, but I often dream of the world that is far, far away. Hmm. One day I tell myself to stop dreaming and go. So I dig a hole under the wire of my pen and squeeze out. The turtle's on an adventure. I'm walking in this place I've never walked before. My legs are short and the grass is long. I think this must be the jungle. Perhaps I am in Africa. Is that an elephant leg in front of me? Oh, I'm going to be squished. Oh no, it is just the stump of some strange jungle tree. I plod on. I have come so far now that I think this must be Australia. Is that a kangaroo leaping through the grassland? Is that a kangaroo? No, it's a frog. But since it is an Australian frog, it is still very interesting. Frogs certainly move fast. I hear bells chime. Ah, they must be temple bells and this must be India. <gasps> Yikes! Is that a tiger? What do you think? Is it a tiger? I pull my two shells together so he can't eat me. But when I peep out, I see it is just the silly striped cat from next door. I never knew that he sometimes visited India. An Indian beetle watches me. He looks exactly like other beetles I have known. We are eye to eye. It's nice here in India, I tell him, but come visit me in the United States. It's nice there too. I may do that, he says. I gaze around. Do you know where the United States is from here? I ask. Sorry, he says and crawls off. I think our turtle is getting a little lost. What do you think? I am worried. I have come so far. Will I be able to find my way home? Will I have to stay in India forever? A voice is calling. Turtle, turtle, where are you? <gasps> Hooray, it's my Emma. I am here in India, I say, but I am using turtle talk and she doesn't understand. But she sees me and picks me up. Thank goodness I found you, she says. Thank goodness. It is so good to be off my feet. I let her stroke my head. She has brought a snail for me in her pocket. It is fat and juicy and splendid. Emma carries me back and sets me in my pen. Strawberry slices are scattered about for my supper. I am tired, but I can still eat. Emma leans across my wire fence. Poor turtle, she croons. I bet it took you all day to go from one end of our yard to the other. I hope it was exciting for you. Did I really go from one end of the yard to the other? Amazing. Still, it is exciting to have the whole world here in my backyard. I settle in to sleep. A traveling turtle needs his rest. Tomorrow, I will dig another hole. I need to go again 
and find China. The end. We are going to use our imaginations, just like Emma's turtle used his imagination to go on a trip. But instead of exploring the planet Earth, we are going to climb aboard a rocket ship and visit outer space. Are you ready? We need to get our rocket ships going. So we're gonna get our rocket ships going and then we're gonna climb aboard our rocket ship and then we're gonna count down and blast off to outer space. Here we go, rocket ships. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> All right, next, fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> All right, one more. We're gonna go far away to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Great singing, astronauts. <laughs> All right, friends, our next song or rhyme is called I Have a Little Turtle and we need our hands for this one. This is how it goes. So we're gonna make a turtle. We're gonna have our thumb. This is the turtle's head and then this is the turtle's shell. So here's my little turtle. I have a little turtle. He lives in a box. He swims in a puddle and climbs on the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow. And he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow. But he didn't catch me. <laughs> All right, now that you know it, we're gonna do it one more time. Are you ready? Get your turtles ready. Here we go. I have a little turtle. He lives in a box. He swims in a puddle and climbs on the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito, he caught the flea, he caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. <laughs> Yay! Good job, friends. Our last book today is called Henry's Show and Tell. It is written and illustrated by Nancy Carlson, and she has also written and illustrated some other books we have in our library, like I Like Me, <laughs> that you might enjoy if you like this book too. Here we go. Henry really liked kindergarten. He liked listening to stories, learning his letters, singing songs, and painting pictures. Hey, we do some of that in story time too, don't we? Henry liked playing games outside and getting great big hugs from his teacher, Ms. Bradley. Oh. 
but there was one thing about kindergarten that Henry didn't like. Show and tell. During show and tell, kids shared facts about their pets, their interesting collections, and what they did on vacation. But whenever Henry tried to share, he felt all shaky. What do you think that means? How is Henry feeling when it's his turn to talk in front of the whole class? Why do you think he feels so shaky? Yeah, he's nervous, right? That happens for all kinds of reasons. Some people get nervous when they have to talk in front of a group. Some people get nervous before a performance or before something that they're really excited for. You can get nervous. Maybe before you go on a roller coaster. Sometimes that makes you feel nervous. And so whenever Henry gets up for show and tell, he gets all shaky and he can't speak. Why don't you wait until next time to share? said Ms. Bradley. But next time, Henry still felt too shy to speak. <sighs> Poor Henry. Everyone else could share. Tony brought his baseball cards. Vinny told all about his trip to Wisconsin. Even little shy Catherine with the quiet voice told about her snow globe. <sighs> But Henry still couldn't speak when it was his turn. Is he going to barf? asked Tony. That day before recess, Ms. Bradley had an idea for Henry. Bring something that's fun for you to talk about. Then practice in the mirror and you'll do just fine, said Ms. Bradley. So Henry decided to tell about his pet, Lizard Wallace. He even practiced in front of his little brother, Pete. I'm ready for show and tell, thought Henry. So right, he did what his teacher suggested. He found something he was excited about and he practiced in front of the mirror and in front of his brother so he would be ready. Do you think he's gonna do a good job? Do you think he's gonna be able to, to talk in show and tell now? Let's find out. The next day, when it was Henry's turn, he walked to the front of the class and just when he was about to share, <gasps> Wallace escaped. Oh no, Wallace is on the run. <laughs> just like Emma's turtle. But instead of exploring the backyard, Wallace is exploring the classroom. <laughs> What's happening in this picture? Yeah, everyone's saying, oh no, oh no. <laughs> By the time Henry finally caught Wallace, he forgot all about being shy and he told everyone all about lizards. <laughs> Good job, said Miss Bradley. That was cool, said Tony. The next week, when it was Henry's turn to share, he just stood there. Henry looks sick again, said Tony. Are you nervous, whispered Miss Bradley. I am not nervous, said Henry. It's just that I have nothing to share because my pet spider got loose. <laughs> Recess, <laughs> said Ms. Bradley. <laughs> Can you see where his pet spider escaped to? Yeah, just hanging down there from the ceiling, right? <laughs> but what are all the students saying just like when his lizard escaped? Oh no! <laughs> the end. All right, friends, this is the end of our story time this week. And we want to give a special thank you to the Soul and Women's Club for supporting our story times in the month of March. 
The Solon Women's Club helped start the very first library in Solon, and we are so lucky to continue to have their support of different library programs and services, including this story time. But now it's time to sing our goodbye song. We read a book, then we played a game, and we sang a song together. We read a book, then we played a game, we had a fun adventure. Now go read a book and go sing a little tune. Go read a book and go play a game. We'll see you back here soon. See you next time, friends. Bye.